What's up, viewers? Welcome to DifferentBrains.org. I'm your host, Agent Sassano, and you're watching The Week in Neurodiversity. Let's kick things off over in Colorado, where a teen with Down syndrome nailed the winning shot for his high school basketball team. With 20 seconds on the clock, Coach Baskin put Kevin on the court. We gave Kevin a jersey, and he got in and did what he did best. And it was his first shot, ran out there. Just money. Scoring the perfect winning shot. Because I feel happy. I feel happy because I can score baskets. Everyone came onto the court and just rushed Kevin and everyone started chanting his name. Next up, a young boy on the autism spectrum with an interest in trains got to be a conductor for the day. When daddy took him on the trains, his behavior changed and it was teaching him life skills and he got out of the shell. <laughs> Thanks to a family friend, the Sunrail heard about their biggest little fan and gave him a special honor. Okay, everybody, why not this rail one? James was conductor for the day. Here you go. Thank you, James. Lucas Warren out of Dalton, Georgia, will be the first ever Gerber baby with Down syndrome. Let's take a second to meet the historical little guy. Introducing the first Gerber baby with Down syndrome in the contest's 90 plus year history. This photo of baby Lucas was submitted by his mother, Courtney Warren, because people always commented on his smile. He's always been such a good baby. I've never met anyone to come in contact with Lucas and not smile. Courtney tells the Today Show they didn't learn Lucas had Down syndrome until he was born. She hopes that having him as a Gerber baby will shine a light on the special needs community. Over in North Carolina, an art show is helping raise awareness for dyslexia. Black Canvas Awareness Art helped put on this event and some of the art that people saw there included paintings, sculptures, and mixed media. The theme today was called I Love Someone Dyslexic. The art show's organizer said dyslexia is more common than people think. So there's a lot of misconceptions around dyslexia. Uh, really, the one in five people are dyslexic, and so we get calls every day of people that are struggling to find resources, and so I, our message, too, is that there's help. And finally, over in Illinois, veterans are training dogs to help treat symptoms of PTSD. Veteran Tom Peacock says his dog, Belle, means the world to him. We were going through some really hard times, and she helped me out. And we're doing so much better now, and, and she's helped along with that. Putting a smile on Tom's face. Bull terriers are, uh, they're a clown dog. One trick at a time. Sit. And while you're here at Different Brains, be sure to check out some of our other content, like Exploring Different Brains with Dr. Hacky Reitman and the Spectrally Speaking podcast, hosted by Becca Laurie and Dr. Katherine Cody. That wraps it up for this episode. Which story caught your eye the most? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and remember, you keep advocating, and we'll keep bringing the news.